We live here. This is our home and most of us have spent our whole life on this planet, under this beautifully lined bed, without knowing who we are and how we came here. But as we developed our intellect, we started studying this world. About four centuries ago, we started understanding science. And human civilization emerged from the rules and secrets of nature. The series of human discoveries and inventions continued. And we met many great scientists who had this question in mind that, what is beyond that sparkling sky? Our curiosity forced us to dive into space. Then we came to know that we were not special, but there are countless planets like us, which revolve around their suns. Today we know that only in our galaxy, there are billions of stars, and this visible universe is also full of countless galaxies. It is estimated that only in our galaxy, there are billions of habitable planets. But will we ever be able to reach those other stars, those other worlds that are very far away from us? We have flown in the high sky. We have gone out of the earth. Moreover, we have taken our step on the moon, we have drawn our way to Mars, and we have even gone to deep space. So is it not possible that we can go to other stars? Absolutely possible. Let's start today's episode. The closest star system of our sun, Alpha Centauri, which is about four and a half light years away from us. There are a total of three stars in this star system, Alpha Centauri A and B, which you already know is a binary star system that revolves around each other. And Alpha Centauri C, which we also know as Proxima Centauri, is a small red dwarf star. Proxima Centauri is the closest star of our Sun, which is only 4.2, 4 light years away from us. In August 2016, Gagolvido made a very big discovery. He saw that there is possibly a planet near Proxima Centauri, which is equal to our Earth, which we know today as Proxima B. Proxima B is in its habitable zone of the star, which means water will be present here in liquid form. Proxima B's discovery is not less than a thing for us humans, and perhaps it can be the first interstellar destination of our species. In the year 2015, NASA's New Horizon spacecraft completed its 5 billion kilometer journey, which was the journey to Pluto, and it took a total of 9 years. This spacecraft was traveling at a speed of about 84,000 kilometers per hour, i.e. about 23 kilometers per second, which is actually quite fast. With this speed, we will take a full circle of the Earth in just half an hour. If any spacecraft is sent to Proxima B at this speed, then it will take only 54,000 years to reach that space from Earth to Proxima B. That is, it is not possible to reach the new stars at the right time with our current technology. But this is not completely true. Our scientists are working on a spacecraft that will take us to Proxima B in just 20 years. And this is called Breakthrough Star Sword. Well, this concept started in 1985 when scientist Robert L. Forward. The idea of this spacecraft was put forward by an ultra-low mass interstellar probe which will be propelled by a microwave beam. This spacecraft will have a 100-meter-wide carbon fiber sail which will be very thin and in its center will be a nanoscale computer circuit in which all the sensors will be installed. It was theorized that the total weight of this spacecraft will be kept as 1.08 kilograms. These microwave beams will propel this spacecraft at a speed of 10% of the speed of light, i.e. approximately 30,000 kilometers per second. This idea was quite good, but it will take us about 40 years to reach Proxima B. In such a long time, the scientists working on this program may become old and die. So we wanted something good, something better, which is faster than this. So from here came Breakthrough Starshot. But before knowing about it, let's know what are solar cells or light. So light cell or solar cells are actually a kind of cells that are propelled by light particles just like a boat is in a cell through the air. Just like in a boat's cell, the speed of the boat increases due to the collision of the air. In the same way, in a light cell, the light particles move the speed of the spacecraft forward. So it also has a very big advantage. New Horizons is the weight of the spacecraft. It was about 400 kilograms in space. This spacecraft, as I said earlier, 
was traveling at a speed of about 84,000 kilometers per hour, which is fast, but not so much that it can be interstellar travel. But solar cells can travel very fast. The special thing about it is that it does not take any kind of fuel, which reduces the weight of the spacecraft a lot. In ordinary spacecraft, fuels are used to increase the speed, which requires more fuel tanks. And this increases the weight of spacecrafts. So it is impossible to travel interstellar with such spacecrafts, or it is very slow. But Breakthrough Starshot is a very good option for interstellar travel. So there is no need for fuel in Breakthrough Starshot. It will have 4 meter wide sails which will be very thin, only a few hundred grams thick. And there will be a nano circuit in its center, in which all the sensors, cameras, antennas and batteries will be installed. And this small chip will also be the main spacecraft. Well, now you must be thinking that how will this spacecraft work? So just like light cells or solar cells run through the photon particles left by the sun, the same is not the case with the breakthrough star shot. Visible light lasers will be used to run it, which will be beamed on that spacecraft through the laser fields made on the Earth, which will reach the star shot by 20% of the speed of light in just one hour. And it will complete the journey of Proxima B in just 20 years. But there is a flaw in it. We can run Starshot at a speed of 20% of light, but it cannot stop it at its destination. That is, it will not stop there by reaching Proxima B, but it will pass through there. That is, we will have a few nanoseconds to collect the data of that planet. That is why the main lead of the breakthrough initiative, the Russian Arab husband Yuri Milner, has a plan to launch hundreds or thousands of nanocrafts instead of one, so that we can collect proper data. So now the question is, why the Starshot program hasn't started yet? Well, we have done a lot of successful tests of solar cells. JAXA, which was launched by the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency in 2010, is an example of Icarus and the light cell launched by the Planetary Society. But Starshot is quite different from solar cells. We don't have the technique to make it today. But this idea is so good that many billionaires are investing in it. Along with this, Stephen Hawking and Mark Zuckerberg have given its support in this. And the special thing is that Breakthrough Starshot will become a reality in the next 20 years. That is, in the next 50 years, we will have real pictures of Proxima B. That is, for the first time, the human civilization will be able to see another world. And maybe, maybe if this is possible, we will be able to see an alien civilization for the first time. So eat healthy food, exercise, so that in the next 50 years and get a glimpse of Alpha Centauri on your beloved channel, Mindful Journey. If you are new to this channel, then for more such interesting videos, subscribe to the channel and also turn on the notification bell. I will meet you with another new video till then. Bye.